Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to launch this game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to try launching Vulkan extension settings. Now for this, go to Steam, click on the game. Now here, select the option which says launch Vulkan extension settings and then click on play. Now once you click on play, you will see this these options on the configuration screen. Now you have to uncheck everything from here. Uncheck all the boxes and then click on OK and then you can check. Now the next step is to try graphics card selector option when you launch the game. So click on play, select launch graphic card selector and then click on play. Now on this screen, select your dedicated graphic card and then Click on OK and then you can launch the game and then you can check. Now still not working. The next step is to let me close. It. Now the next step is to close OBS. Now if you're using OBS, you can close it. You can try or you can even try launch Vulkan extension settings and uncheck OBS. So you can click on play, select this, click on play and then you can uncheck the box for OBS and then you can check and then click on OK at the bottom. Now if you want to use OBS in that case you can update OBS use the latest version of OBS you can uninstall and reinstall OBS and then check. Next step is to lower down resolution scale in settings file. Now for this open file explorer go to this PC open C drive now open users folder now open your username folder and then open saved games folder and then open the tiny glade folder and then open steam folder open this folder and here you can see settings file make a double click on settings and then select notepad over here and then you can open with notepad now over here scroll down here you can see resolution scale uh, you can just if this is set to 1 uh, you can maybe you can try 0 0.9 or maybe 0 0.8 or maybe 0 0.7 now do not lower it down more because the game will look blurry so you can try 0 0.7 or maybe 0 0.8 and then click on file and then click on save and then close this now make a right make a right click on settings and then go to properties and then put a check on the box which says read only and then hit apply click on ok and then you can launch the game and then check now if you further if you want to make changes then go to properties uncheck this box only then you will be able to change the value now the next step is to you can delete the settings file so still not working in that case you can just make a right click and then you can delete this settings file all the saved settings will be lost when you do this delete it and then you can launch the game and then check still not working then you can rename rename the saved game files now for this you can go to this location and then go back back so here you can see tiny glade so in this location make a right click on tiny glade now be before you make changes on this folder uh, just create a backup so if something happens wrong something wrong happens you can always put it back so uh, let me create a backup so once you have a backup now you can make changes now you can just make a right click and then you can click on rename and you can rename it whatever you want dot old now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can even when you launch the game it will create another tiny glade fold now still not working you can delete this tiny Glade folder but you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so you can delete it and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to disable steam overlay now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game once this is off now you can launch the game and then check also if you have any other overlay application running like if you're using discord in that case you can go to Discord settings go to game overlay and you can turn this off.
if you're using G for experience then go to settings over here and then turn off in game overlay and then you can launch the game and then check also if you have any other other overlay application so close all the overlay application and then launch the game also if you have any kind of overclocking application you can close all the overclocking application like MSI afterburner reward tuner and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder now find the game exe file so over here you can see tiny glit this is the exe file make a double click and you can try to launch the game from here and then check now still not working then let me close the game still not working then close make a right click on the exe file once again and then go to properties and this time this time go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator and then hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working then go to properties once again and this time put a check over here select windows 8 over here hit apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game still not working then this time Put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to now if you're using any kind of third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you're using make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program I don't have any third party antivirus so I cannot show you but if you have any antivirus go go to the antivirus program and add the exe file or you can add the complete game folder to the exception list of that antivirus program now I'm using Windows security so if you are using Windows security open Windows settings go to previous privacy and security now click on Windows security if you have Windows 10 click on update and security then click on Windows security then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add and allowed app browse all apps go to the game installation folder if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder open the steam apps folder open the common folder open the game folder select the exe file click on open once it is added now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the exe file and then click on open click on add in my case the game is already added so once the game is added over here once the game is added in my case it is already added. so now you can launch the game and then check next step is to verify the game files this is important so go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files now once this verification is 100 percent complete then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver this is very important so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website select product category for me it's geforce now select the right product series so for me it's 30 series so make sure that you select your series and then select your graphic card now once you select your graphic card select the right operating system and then click on find and then you will see the latest driver so right now it's 561.09 and then click on view and then click on download and once the download is complete you can run this exe file and then click on agree and continue and then select custom option then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete after the installation restart your computer and then launch the game 
now amd card users first of all you can uninstall the current driver uh, graphic card driver which is installed in computer uninstall it then restart your computer and then go to amd website select your graphic card and then install the latest uh, graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card you can type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now click on browse over here go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the exe file and then click on add once the game is added over here now click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game and then check next step is to if you're not able to launch the game you can skip this step if not able to launch the game if you are able to launch the game switch to window mode you can use alt plus enter when you launch the game lower down render scale lower down resolution so let me launch the game first now once you launch the game press the escape key and then go to settings icon now go to video first of all switch to window mode or you can even use alt plus enter or here you can see display mode if this is set to borderless you can try window mode and then you can lower down render scale now render scale over here is set to 1 in my case so you can set it to maybe 0 0.9 0 0.8 or 0.7 do not uh, lower down more because the game will look blurry so i will just keep 0.8 and then set the fps to 60 so if this is set to unlimited uh, you can set it to maybe 60 you can try 90 i will set it to 60 and then turn off or turn off v-sync so here you can see v-sync if this is yes you can select no and then check if that does not work you can even select yes and then check and you can even lower down resolution uh, like let me now resolution option is not over here so whenever you make changes make sure that you hit apply over here and then once you hit apply now you can check now the next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c plus plus file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and you have to download x64 download both the file and then run both the file so if you see repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install now let me download x64 and then you can run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install click on install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both are install once install you will see a restart option restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 
1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM, total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the bios now for this you can go to your system manufacturer website select your model number make sure that like example if you have a Dell computer go to Dell website if you have a Lenovo go to Lenovo then select your computer you have to select your model number and then go to drivers and downloads or software option and then install the latest BIOS now before you update the system BIOS in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter the charger is connected to the computer during the BIOS update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS after the BIOS update log into the computer and then launch the game now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive now for this make a right click on the game and then select manage uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder and then restart the computer and then install the game to C drive so if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any, or any external drive try to install the game to C drive and then check if the game is already installed to C drive then try to install the game to another SSD and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel